Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and finally, we got Scyther in the game. Um, well, not yet, because it takes a while to hatch the eggs, but we will eventually get Scyther, um, once, once we, uh, hopefully hatch one. Um, so, anyways, um, the bug type egg event is here, so let's just go over it real quick, uh, the details and stuff, so, um, there is actually, uh, you know, the bug type, uh, egg event stages, right, and, uh, we'll, we'll go, uh, you know, go into them in a bit, but, uh, just overviewing the uh, event because there are some like really interesting stuff, right? So um, Anyways, yeah, it, it does mention that during the event period you cannot receive eggs from Professor Bellis by completing uh, area info outside of this event, but um Yeah, anyways, so basically a bug type egg event you get bug type egg drops right um, from this event and all that stuff and the units that we have in here are Scyther, Pinsir, Venonat, Weedle, the two shinies over here are Scyther and Pinsir, thankfully. Um, <laughs> so that's obviously really nice. Um, in terms of the units, uh, Striker Scyther is really, really good, actually, right? Solid stats, really, really good. Uh, move sets has like Crit Strike 5 as a passive or something. Like, it does like really, really good damage. Um, so, folks definitely do want to, uh, you know, try and go for this, uh, this Scyther. Um, as for some other stuff, um, the Tech Venonats, okay ish. And the uh, the support Pinsir and Scyther are also not bad either. So, anyways, um, as for some other details, uh, you do we do get a limited time incubator uh, that everyone gets for free for the amount of days this event is up. I think it's like 13 days or something. So that's really nice as well. And um, oh, we'll go check it out over here, right? So it's it's this yellow one. So you get your free one um, to be your starter uh, incubator, and then you get one. That you could uh, purchase by by you know with um, the paid gems, and then you got the other one that you could also purchase with paid gems, but it's only like a limited time. But you also get an auto incubation, and then now you get a free event incubator. So if you paid nothing, then you get two. If you paid for all of them, then you get four. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, let me see. I actually do I have? Oh, I don't have eggs hatching. Never mind then. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, as for some other stuff, uh, there is actually a bonus. For dropping eggs, right? Um, so you have an increased chance of receiving eggs if you take on an event battle using teams that feature specific sync pairs. And these are the ones, right? So if you include a player character sync pair, which is your, you know your your main character, right? Although I don't know why they like they called the first one like player character and then like the next one like main main character. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, either uh, a player character sync pair that gives you an extra 1.4 times bonus, and then the uh, the main character sync pair that's a bug type so just any of the bug uh you know a bug egg egg bugs bug eggs egg bugs anyways the bug types that you got from this event that's a 1.8 times which is obviously the highest you could get and then just any regular bug type sync pairs it's a 1.2 times uh rate to drop right so these two stack um additively so like if you get one of each uh, it's it's a 2.4 times chance to get uh, the the bug egg drops, which is obviously um, really really good, right? So uh, you do want as as much as as you can get over here um, in terms of uh, the the you know the the stacks, and obviously um, you know for your your main character, you can't. I mean, you can't really just uh, get those just because like you well you can't do multiple main characters, so you know it's just. The best you do is uh, main character plus like two extra bug types, I guess. I don't know. So, um, so does this even make any sense? I don't know. Anyways, uh, moving on. You can take on the special mission during the event period. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nothing much else to uh, discuss over there. So, uh, let's go ahead and check out the event then. So, as for the uh, drop rates, by the way, uh, we'll, we'll go over the... You know what? Let's just go over the event first and then we'll check out the drop rates and stuff. Um, why do I, why am I getting an exclamation mark there? Is it just because of, like, this thing? I don't know. It's, it's being annoying. Um, anyways. I, I, I just don't like that notification. Alright, let's do this then. Um, so first time you do get a guaranteed, uh, uh, egg drop, right? Uh, it's 20% chance. Oh, damn, that's actually a pretty, uh, high percent chance to drop these eggs. And then, you know, you get the extra bonuses. Okay, it would be actually pretty easy to drop these eggs then, I guess. Anyways, uh, let's let's do one of those uh, bug type teams then. Um, I'll take this one and we'll uh, switch this one up. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do Guzma. Let's just 
Where's... Yeah, let's do Guzma for our main striker. And then... Um, yep. As you can see, that's 1.2 times rate. And then... What else? Let's also do... Let's not do double striker. Let's just use Guzma for this one then. Um, let's do Mass Crane. Mass Crane. Uh, cause like, wait, is there any other bug type units that are like semi useful that aren't strikers? Yeah, I, I guess Mass Crane is like the only one. <laughs> it's the, the tech unit that's you know semi useful. And as for a player character, I guess we could just go with um. I mean, Pikachu is good, but I guess it's safer to go with. Uh, let's go with Torchic, I want to say. Hmm. Do we... Well, we do have a dire hit, so I guess we don't really need Torch... But we don't, like, need... Mm, yeah, let's, let's, let's just go with Torchic. I don't think anyone else is really that real, but... Um, where's Torchic? Support, 5-star. There we go. Alright. And this should be a 1. Point, what 1.4 times, right? So that's a total of... Um, 1.8 times for us, which is not bad. Um, oh, let me change tactics real quick. Uh, what? Torchic taking the first hit. Even though Guzma is, you know, decently tacky. Are these guys uh, physical or special, though? Um, okay, so it goes up to 36% for us. Uh, which isn't the best, but, you know, it's still a decent chance, right? Um, oh, pff, weak electric. Ah, well, <laughs> oh well. Not electric, um. Yeah. Uh... Ooh, let me slow that down. Um, here's the electric. Never mind. Star hit. Let's do that. I guess XP. There really isn't much to do, honestly. Um, I guess we could just beat him down here. Um, I guess we could do that again. It's, it's not really relevant what we do there, honestly. Uh, let's just take out the uh, the meow stick first. Uh, first impression, impression off. I would assume. I mean, well, I forgot. This is normal difficulty. We just go through this really quick. <laughs> uh, we don't need to waste time on this one. I forgot it's normal difficulty. Let's just, just burn through this one. Um, struggle bug. You know what? Struggle bug might even just take them out. Oh my god. Oh, look at that damage. <laughs> Overkill. Alright. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah it's normal. It's, I, I, I wouldn't expect, you know, this event to be too difficult. Um... Oh, there we go. We got a uh, one-star bug egg. So there's that. Uh, obviously, higher chances to get, you know. Um, hello. Up at the story. Um, higher chance to get Chinese Scyther and, and three-star eggs. So I'm just going to save it for those. Also, we got missions as well, which um, are... We have really good stuff from these missions, honestly. We got a lot of tarts, for one, right? We also get specific um, eggs, pincer eggs that only hatch pincers and the scyther eggs that only hatch scythers so that's really nice as well um and you know power ups that's, uh that's uh 10 of what are these two stars or one star power ups and i think there's also two star power ups here as well right if i remember correctly um that's three star power up but yeah there's two star power ups so you could uh you know power up one of your uh units all the way through right so there's that as well one star power up up oh, there we go two star power up so you have enough um, power ups to go ahead and just power up one of your units all the way up so that's really really good um egg tarts two star egg tarts and and all that stuff what did we get oh it's probably just for maybe that first one i don't know anyways let's let's keep going let's keep going um book type big event this next one um we'll just keep with this team this one's a hard difficulty which again should be too difficult so I mean, I'll throw about Guzma. Actually, no, it's five out about Guzma. <laughs> Guzma. <laughs> um, anyways, let's just, like, buff one round, just in case, you know, nothing's, like, a one-shot or whatever. Even though I didn't go for, like, first impression grid. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I, I buffed! I forgot. Never mind. <laughs> I did. I forgot that I buffed. I was, like, wondering. Why, uh, Obviously, you can't buff or whatever. Oh, it's first impression fails. Um... I wasn't paying too much attention. Sorry about that. Anyways, um... That was enough to take it out. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> Let's finish this off then. Um... If it doesn't finish off, this flame will finish it off. And... There goes that. And then... Well, there's no way this pin will finish off, so... Who's against that sophistication? 
Let's go up another pin this one. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Um, cool. And we got a guaranteed silver egg from our first drop as well. Um, first time reward. Right? Alright, here's very hard. Let's check the uh, rates for this one. 54% for, oh, either a 2-star or 3-star egg. Oh, that's really good. And we got a 3-star egg for our first uh, first clear bonus, right, as well. So got that mail stick with that uh, Electro-type, which is not good, obviously. For us. Alright. Um, it should be so yeah, relatively easy as well. X speed. Um, beat him down. X attack all. I don't know. Whatever. Um, just a missile. We can probably slow this one down. Right. I mean, it's not that difficult, but we probably <laughs> don't want to be that careless. Just in case. Screw up. Which we've already screwed up quite a few times already. Right? <laughs> Using first impression after we used to move. <laughs> For one. Alright. Come on. Uh, struggle bug again. I mean, they're all, they're they're all special attackers. So, hey, struggle bug's doing something. At least, man, I want to get my hands on that side through. <laughs> I'm I've been thinking like, gosh, do I want to like five star like the regular scyther or the um shiny scyther? But I personally do like regular scyther a bit more. But shiny scyther is shiny scyther, and you know that's that's pretty exclusive. So I might. So I'm thinking I might save my um all my powers and stuff for for shiny stuff if I ever get it at all. <laughs> um, I I do wonder what's gonna happen to these um the bug type egg Pokemon after the event ends. Are they just gonna be like added to the general pool or are they just like gone? I don't know. Oops. Let me do that. All right, let's just do this first off. There we go. <clears throat> all right, we're good. Guzma's so good, man. Guzma. Wow. Um. Cool. Three star uh, fairy tarts. I'll take that as well. We didn't get any regular drops though, which is unfortunate. Wait, does it? Does this thing drop like anything else other than the eggs? Or is that like the only drops? Oh no! No! Oh no! Completion words at all. It's just the you know fairy drops. Um. Or not fairy drops. The uh, the egg drops. Sixty three percent for a uh, bug type egg. That's a three star. That's actually really really high. Damn, it's gonna be like super easy to drop eggs from this event then. Oh, Alexam, Alexam, Grumpig, and and, and um, almost called almost called Lifeheart Grimsley, <laughs> Lifeheart. All right, let's do this. Um, you know what? Let's let's actually let's actually not screw around with this one then. Um, first impression, XP, physical shield. Oh, cool! We got the first impression in before the uh, the physical shield, which is definitely really really good for us. Obviously, um, let's get the X attack all in there, and then we'll have max attack, and then we'll get our hit, and then we'll have max crit over there as well. Max special defense all. Okay. Um, let's get blazing hope just for the extra bit of a uh, chance for mask rain to uh, crit. I guess <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll need all the help we can get. We don't want to, you know, get screwed over on on this stage. Um, someone did mention this stage was like semi hard though, so. I don't know. Um, well, we are doing like no damage, <laughs> so there's that, at least. Um, let's infestation that one actually. They're not doing much damage to us either, though. Sorry, my hair's messy. I just showered. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, one more thing um, that I forgot to announce. Um, due to popular demand, we are gonna do a Q&A live stream tomorrow. So uh, tune in for that. That should be fun. Um, you guys can ask me. I guess whatever. I guess is the point of QA streams. <laughs> I think. Wow, that drain punch. I guess that's like one um, advantage of like the whole uh, HP system in this game. Is that like when opponents like use like drain punch or whatever, drain and kiss, they don't gain much HP back. <laughs> Anyways. EQ, ouch. Or is that bulldoze? Oh, it's bulldoze, never mind. I didn't see the blue thing. Um, let's just finish this off. And then, and then we'll have our sync move up, and we'll finish the stage off then. Um, 
which can, you know, not not too crazy or whatever. Uh, uh, difficulty. Um, the missile, and we'll just sink move. Just because. <laughs> I actually do kind of like uh, Guzma sink move. Um, well, well, I mean, uh, Guzma didn't do anything special, but uh, uh, Ghost Pod's um, animation looks actually pretty cool. The uh, the scissor thing. See? It's, it's pretty dope. <laughs> In comparison to a lot of the other ones. 7.6k. Guzma's just so good, man. Guzma's so good. And finally, we got a, you know, a stage to use him in. <laughs> we didn't get a uh, egg drop, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll have to do this some more times, right? Because, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely need to uh, get one of those before our uh, thing fills up. We have 15 minutes before this one drops. Because I do want to start hatching the uh, three-star bug eggs. And also the uh, Scyther eggs that we get from the missions. Uh, what were the, uh, requirements again? Shether egg. Uh, 20 times. Oh, any, yeah, okay. It's just any part. Alright, alright. Well, let's just see if we could get a, um, a three-star egg, right? Because, uh, I don't think we get that on camera. <laughs> just because, like, we're bound to get, like, one egg drop before, um, uh, before our, our, uh, but, but before we reach the, the 20 time clears, right? And, you know, once we get one egg drop, our, uh, box will be full, right? Anyways. Oh, I forgot to do some pressure for him. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal though. <laughs> Let's just make this one quick. Um, I guess we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take out the- Oops, I keep on fat fingering that button instead. Take out the drum pig first, I guess. Um, how's the matters, really? Alright. And the damage, I guess. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just pressing random stuff just because it's so fast right now. Oh boy, what is going on? Potion? Okay, yeah, I, 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 I guess you should, you know, take out the sides first then. Did they use potion last time? I might have not noticed. Anyway, it still doesn't matter. It's, it's a cheesy. Anyways, finish all the stuff off, and there goes Alexam. All right, can we get a three-star egg drop here? Oh, yes, we can. There we go. And and, and our egg. Actually, it's not like full yet because I could like put one in, and then we freed up a space again. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you know what we should have done? Okay. Oh, you know what? We we could actually get this Scyther egg um in this video. Uh, we could just like keep on doing this, and then we could just like fill that spot up until we get to like the twentieth one, and then as I you know what? Let's just put on another one. I'll talk about it. So we could just like fill up all this uh, all the uh, egg slots, and then um. And then we'll just keep on going for the, the, the 20 battles, and then once we get the 20th battles, then we'll put in one of the eggs into the incubator. And then we just receive the, uh, the side thread. <laughs> there we go. Alright. There's that. We, we could even just, like, do, like, the lower difficulties. If you want. Since, again, you know, it doesn't matter what type of eggs, we're not gonna actually receive it in our box, right? I think it actually goes to like a temp storage or something. Um, I actually heard someone mention for uh, recording this, so we'll, we'll check that out as well. I'll check that one out. Anyways, um, as for the rates, let me actually uh, check what the rates were again um, for the uh, eggs. Let me just queue up another battle while I check that. The egg rates. I remember they're actually like not terrible for Scyther or Shiny Scyther, right? Mm, for a three star egg, the chances to get a Shiny Scyther 1.5%. Yeah, actually, that's actually really, really high. Or Shiny Scyther or Pinsir. Um, Pinsir's not that great, unfortunately, Shiny Pinsir. It's not terrible, though. It's also not, you know, incredibly good. 
unfortunately. What's the AI doing? I don't know. Um, so yeah, 1.5% to get that, and then a regular Scyther is 2.278%. This is on a 3-star egg, right? For a 2-star egg, uh, it's one. It's one. It's straight up 1% for a 2-star egg. And then a 1-star egg is 0.67%, which is obviously not that great. Um, as for the regular eggs, or the, the, um, the species exclusive eggs, the Scyther egg, um, which is a 12-hour egg, Scyther or Pinsir egg, they're all 1.5%. Uh, to get one of those eggs as well, so there's that. Um, all right, all right. Uh, let me see how many battles we need to, to pick up a scyther egg. Uh, we're almost at pincer egg, so yeah, 13, 13 more battles for a scyther egg. Let's just do like normal real quick, and we'll just like take them out with like uh, mass grains AOE, and also we get to check out uh, how how they store the eggs once our uh, egg box is full and stuff. As well, so we could ver verify that one as well. Um, shiny Pincer Headstrong, Power Reserve 2, Super Duper Effective 1. Yeah, yeah, it's like there's just straight way better, unfortunately. Um, why don't you just use Struggle Bug first? That's an AoE one shot. Oh well. Anyways, uh, or does it just give you no rewards? I don't know. From what I hear, um, they just put in. in oh, whoops, wrong move. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's do this then, I don't know. Um, the station. Well, that took much longer than it needed to be. <laughs> you know what? Let's just turn off auto. Alright. 11 more times. So that's right, the rig. <laughs> um, struggle blood. Oh, that's actually not a one shot? Interesting. I thought it would be a one shot. Just because it's a normal stage. I guess. Even though it's an stage, it's not like that Alright, 10 more times of this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, all the other are like 10.9% um, for like the uh, the non-Chinese Scyther or Pincers and the, uh, uh, which obviously makes sense. It's just 100% minus 1.5 uh, divided by how many, you know, different Scyther slash Pincers there are. So, it makes sense. Um, again, Tech Venomoth is pretty interesting. Nothing else is really, though, unfortunately. There, there, there's, like, a few, like, decent ones, I guess. Also, um, one of the, um... Like, there's been, like, conflicting reports about Weedle and Beedrill. Um, Crash, the, the data miner Crash says... Uh, Beedrill does not have a fourth move. However, like, another data miner... Um... Or, I, I'm not sure if they're a data miner or whatever, but they said that Beagle actually has, like, a fourth move. So, yeah, like, but, but like, Weedle doesn't have it. You have to, like, evolve it before it has. So, again, we'll, we'll see once, you know, once we actually pick up uh, Beedrill. So, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Anyways. Oh, how many are we on? Come on, I just want that Scyther egg. For guaranteed Scyther. Guaranteed Scyther. Oh, there's that. Then, uh, Troublemaker, Scyther, Pinsir. I do wonder, because, like, what would they do with, like, would they ever, like, do, like, a Ghost-type egg event, or, like, a Dragon-type egg event? Because, like, in Gen 1, right? Because, you know, these are all Gen 1 Pokemon that they're doing for these eggs so far, right? Um, because, like, Scyther doesn't evolve, which is good. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, uh, Golbat doesn't evolve into Crobat. So it seems like they're just doing like Gen 1 so far, so like what would happen if there's like a dragon type egg event or um or a ghost type egg event? Because like in Gen 1 there's literally only one of each, right? Uh it's Ghastly Hunter Gengar line, and then Dragonair, uh or Dratini Dragonair and Dragonite line for its dragon type, right? Is there any other there's probably like some other that I'm not like remembering off the top of my head right now. So I don't know. I don't know. Um yeah, I do wonder what they're gonna do with those. Anyways, let's finish this thing. Oh, can we just please? Oh, whoops! As I accidentally clicked something else, and it made our run much slower than it needed to be. <laughs> How many battles do we need to finish? You want? Know let's go check after this one. Actually, first impression, struggle bug. 
There's that. And we're good. Alright. Let's, let's, let's go check the uh, the missions and stuff first before we uh, go further. Alright, let's say it's just not dropping eggs straight up. It seems. Um, Alright, cool. We got the scyther egg bug. Yay, we got a scyther egg. Um, or does this one put put it uh, get put in the tap? Okay, yeah, this one gets put in the tap storage. So for folks who are claiming those, do pay attention um, that they do actually go into the uh, temp storage and you'll have to like go collect them from the temp storage, right? So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyways, well, there's another scyther egg. Um, time to wait 12 hours and hatch that scyther. Hopefully I get starting scyther on the first one, but you know, chances are really high. It's 1.5%, right? So uh, anyways, um, that's it for this one, I guess. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the Guzma banner is also up as well, right? So there's that. Um, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Good luck with your hatches. Subscribe to the channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.